Hi, my name is uh, Mr. Garcia and I'm the athletic director here at Desert Shadows Middle School and we just have a message that we normally have done with a meeting but the meetings are getting a little difficult to hold so let me give this to you and um, hopefully you will get the information that you need uh, from this short video. The Paradise Valley Unified School District believes that extracurricular athletics participation is an important part of the middle school ed educational experience. Every student is given the opportunity to participate in a healthy, positive, and developmentally appropriate athletic program. Each sport will include fundamental instruction, an emphasis on sportsmanship, positive reinforcement, inclusion, and the rewards of team play. The goal is to develop confident and motivated student athletes who have the opportunities to contribute to their school communities. Impressive words. I'll translate them into possibly simpler terms. Sports are good for our kids. They can be fun, educational, and challenging all at the same time. The students spend 16 days, 16 practices, learning and honing skills under the supervision of highly qualified coaches. They will participate in numerous competitions, both individual and team-based throughout the practice schedule. The Horizon High School athletic programs participate in the training of our middle school athletes under the direction of their coaching staffs. The high school team comes in to give our students a taste of what to expect coaching-wise at the next level of competition. For some of our students, it's their first opportunity to participate in an organized sport. Many students are a bit surprised that many of the character, ter, pardon me, character traits of good students are the same for athletes. Accountability and commitment, competition or giving your best effort, and of course teamwork and sportsmanship. The culminating activity of the festival programs gives our students the opportunity to compete against students from our district's other middle schools who are playing their sport at about the same athletic level. With athletic participation comes the possibility of injury to our student athletes. Our coaches must recertify every two years in both basic first aid and CPR. There will always be a certified person monitoring our festival sports activities and all-star competitions. We live in Arizona. We take hydration very seriously. We would appreciate your support by sending your student to school and practice with their own water bottle. Thank you. Let's talk about the coach and student relationship. This may be the first time many of our students will be practicing without their parents taking a major role as a coach or full-time observer. If your student tells you he, has, he or she has concerns with their coach, please encourage your child to be the first person to talk to the coach about their concerns. This communication will probably clear up your child's concerns. If your child doesn't believe that the situation is settled, then please contact the coach to clarify for yourself what the situation is or is not. If you still feel the issue exists after your contact with the coach, then by all means contact me. Hopefully we can resolve your students and your concerns. Finally, I'd like to talk about being a fan, both in the festival field and our all-stars. This is middle school athletics. First off, our festival program is in existence to give students the opportunity to compete with other kids who have similar athletic skills. At this level, the fundamentals of the sport may not be as developed as we'd hoped. 16 days of practice will bring lots of individual improvement, but putting those skills into a team concept usually takes more time and practice. Enjoy your students' efforts to improve, and if they are on a team that clicks, by all means, cheer them on. There's going to be fouls called or not, traveling, net violations, leaving the base early, pass interference or not. The officials are doing their best to help make games competitive for all the participants, participants at all levels. I like to think that we really have to get behind the spirit of competition and not the win at all costs mentality. I know it can be difficult to hold in your competitive juices as you watch your child play. So please, make the effort to remember that this is festival athletics. There are certificates and pride to be gained, win or lose. That's all I have. Okay. Do you have more? I have just a little more. Really? Because I think I put this in at the end. What do you think? 
Uh, yeah, there it is. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, well. Hey. <clears throat> I can <fix> <laughs> How long did that take? Do you, do you know? It's still running, actually. Okay. We're going to do this. In okay. A Yep. Go Just go. So thank you for taking a few moments to watch this video. More detailed information regarding specific seasons and calendars is available on the DSMS webpage.